guys. It's me again. So bonus video. Um, so today I posted earlier. Um, I think I started at 9 a.m. It is 1.20 in the afternoon. And this is what I have accomplished. So, three, six, nine, 12, 12 jars of pickled beets. And I just have a small bowl of just cooked beets to put on my salad and things. So as I was doing um, the pickled beets, I had laundry on. So I'm all cleaned up from the beets and they're ready now but it takes a freaking long time to make pickled beets. So if anybody enjoys pickled beets and somebody makes them for you, they must love you. <laughs> because yeah, 9 a.m. until one to make these pickled beets. And I used four, uh, this amount of jars, I used two giant bags of beets so I mean you don't really get a lot out of it we do make homemade maple syrup as well mostly Scott does I, I don't I'm I don't make it at all I watch him make it to be honest <laughs> so um, anyway um, he he makes it and we we're always like oh it takes so much work so you have to enjoy the process of doing it but yeah, if somebody gives gifts you maple syrup that they made or pickled beets, they must love you. Um, so that is has been how I have spent my morning. And um, I had a funny conversation with my grandmother earlier this morning before I started this process. I called her and um, Anyway, we were talking about how crazy it is that weed is legal um, and haircuts are not in Ontario. So um, I don't smoke weed or anything. I have nothing against people that do, but I do not. Um, my friend works for the company, so I'm wearing um, a t-shirt. One of our big companies in and around here um, so anyway, um, we were just talking about how funny that is, or interesting, I guess. I said to her, Graham, did you ever, ever think that haircuts would be illegal and smoking weed would be legal? It seems just so far-fetched from where I've come from and, and from what she shared with me where she came from too. Anyway, I love having conversations like that with her because um, it's just so funny. Uh, Amir, or um, I just wanted to let you know, I know lots of people say that I look Arabic. Um, I can say a couple of words, Marhaba, Kifik and Kifak. Um, I used to know more, but no, I am, my DNA test said that I'm Scottish and Irish mostly and French Canadian. So I don't know, that could mean anything. Um, but thank you for all the compliments. Um, and my cousin's watching, so just want to show you. There's some jars, Kelly. This is how much I love you because it's taken me hours and hours to make these. So, six, seven, eight, nine, so 12. 12 jars. Mostly big jars, four little jars. So, I suppose people can tell the 12 people or 11 people I'll give these to. I guess you can tell how much I love you, whether I give you the big jar or the small jar. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, anyway, I am going to, um, now get organized and ready to do something else. 
I think I'm going to make lunch and then I might start recording my videos which for um, anybody that wants to watch my 10 days of bliss I'm gonna record them and then I'll be available for Q&A on the um, um, on the zoom chat sorry I was distracted um, I don't think I can send my product to Egypt for you I'm very sorry <laughs> but flattered once again um, so thank you everyone for watching I hope you like that you got a little bonus video again this is what I do in my regular life um, sometimes I get overdressed up sometimes I get you know I'm just like this just normal no makeup um, just me so yeah we'll see what I do for the rest of the day but the potential is just endless and it is Saturday normally I'd be working uh, cutting hair um, but it is I'm not able to do that right now so I don't know if I'm gonna use the rest of my weekend for fun I mean, I have fun doing stuff like this, or if I'm going to get on the computer and start doing that kind of stuff, because it takes me forever to learn new computer platforms and systems and all of that. So um, I'm learning how to set up a template for people to sign up for my Zoom classes that are free. Um, I just want to be able to see who's interested in the information that I'm sending out there. Um, my Facebook lives have really morphed into just conversations and motivation. So um, originally they started, I was so nervous in the beginning and shaky and everything. And they started out... Um, being hair videos and people, I would just add in, you know, how I was feeling for the day, things that I learned about myself. Um, you know, I am so used to being around many, many people in a day and talking. Um, so it was different being on a blank screen. Now I visualize all of you that I do know in front of me when I'm talking and that helps. Um, but I also really believe in the power of being vulnerable and sharing our stories um, because you never know who's listening and you never know who might need that little something, you know? So I'm sharing as much as I can. Um, it, is, it does feel vulnerable and um, that's okay. I'm working through that myself and um, trying to share as much as possible to help motivate or contribute in some way because I know isolation is tough. Um, some people have been going out and doing things as far as like in public. I haven't. I live outside of Wakefield and so I'm quite isolated out here and that has major pros and some cons, especially for somebody that loves people. So I'm finding my way around that and, um, well, through that, I suppose. Um, I do have a pretty good life and lots of support and you guys watching helps me so much. So anyway, I'm going to go figure out what else I feel like doing. So this was my main goal for today and I've accomplished more than one because I also got my laundry done. So Scott, Caleb and mine and so yeah I feel like you know take a break have lunch with Scott and I and go figure out what else I feel like. I love you all. Thank you. And Kelly, you have the best day too. And I can't wait to be able to see you. I miss you so much. Bye everyone.